September 11th, 2001, I was younger. <laughs> How old was I? Um, I was 24. I worked at an amusement park uh, in Toronto here on the Toronto Islands. If you know the Toronto Islands, they're in the downtown part. There's like a whole bunch of little islands there in the middle of the islands called Center Island, go figure is an amusement park. I was the supervisor of the rides department, so I was in charge of all the rides there. And we were post-season, because everybody, you know, all the employees are students, they go back to school, and it was, you know, time to tear down the park, take a bunch of the rides away and store them for the winter. Um, so I was actually at the Swan Ride, which are like these big huge swans which seat three people and you control them and you go around in the pond and whatever. Um, if you want to check out what the swans look like, um, you can check out Gord Downey. Uh, he's the singer from The Tragically Hip, gifted poet, songwriter, and uh, he was filming a video for his first solo album uh, called Coke Machine Glow and uh, he wanted to record the video just of him on one of these swans by himself doing the song so I'm way off track now I know and anyway so that was cool I got to talk poetry with him and music and all that stuff and he's a great guy super tall he stands like 6'4 or something like that and uh, nicest guy in the world and anyway so that's just to check out the swans that he was riding on. Anyway, September 11th, 2001, I was taking the swans out of the pond with uh, one of the mechanics at the park and uh, we were lifting them, hoisting them out with the big truck crane that we had and, and pulling them out and my boss came down and he's like, a uh, plane just hit the uh, World Trade Center tower. We're like, okay, and I kept, you know, I was thinking about it, just working along. Uh, the second plane hit, then he came down, he's like, you guys gotta come up to the office and see this. So we stopped our work and we went up, and that's when I I fully grasped the, uh, the whole incident, the whole day, what was going on. Um, there's always airplanes, like just, you know, little propel propeller planes buzzing around the islands, and it was really quiet, and there was no one on there because it was post-season, so... It uh, was kind of an eerie day, I remember that, and I didn't really get a chance to fully understand what was going on until I got home and got to like, get online and, and turn on the TV and see what was actually happening and, and realize the full extent of what had, ha had happened. Um, so that's what I was doing on September 11th, 2001, taking big swans out of a pond. Kind of rhymes. Anyway, uh, that's that.